Hey guys, good morning, or whatever it is in, at your place. Stream comes live for first time today, it's good morning. So before uh, I go play Slid Aspire, we're gonna check the uh, small patch notes been released uh, with uh, uh, Make War Not Love, I think it's called. The uh, uh, Little War Valentine event, I think. Uh, they've been doing this for a few years now. So we're gonna go over the page notes, see what's what, and uh, then go back to Slade Aspire. Uh, what do we see here? <coughs> Fixed a crash during the entrance cycles noticeable on uh, Dunhopex turn. So the game was crashing during the entrance cycles. It, didn't this happen to us in, in Vortex? I think this happened to us in Vortex, uh, our uh, first stackless campaign. Guys, remember? Fix an audio crash in a in a bells audio crash. Uh, fix spell casters being able to spam projectile spells when mounted on horses or Pegasus during bells. Optimize performance of great incantation of Sarite sandstorm and campaigns. I did not send leg. The Mortal Emperor's Cop campaign, Arkan and Cedric can now engage diplomacy with each other. Madness! Madness, I say! The number of preset army setups can now be saved in multiplayer. Okay, right. 0, 0.0.0, 0 interest. The Capra Guard Regiment will now, unit will no longer be recruitable multiple times. Okay, I, I uh, heard about this glitch. Preventing the Chaos Invasion appearing and killing the rogue armies with books and Nagash and aborting the player's mission to attain it. Yeah. Increase the limit of canopic jars so players can get more covered armies from the Mortuary Cold. What the hell? You, the, you are only getting a lot of canopic jars. Limit of canopic jars. Does this mean we get more canopic jars? The old. The the, uh, the Tomb Kings only get too many armies, and then they're gonna give you even more armies. You have to give less armies, not more armies. What the hell? Who's balancing this shit? Added more voice over to Tomb Kings held on during battle. Clackety dude. Fix the progression blocker caused by entering a new campaign as Tomb Kings faction, uh, then entering diplomacy by double clicking another non Tomb King faction on the over map, then offering them a diplomatic deal. Oh man. So they basically just add, 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 increase, and nothing, uh, nothing changes, because they are not, not gonna touch anything old. Because you no, know, they're gonna, people gonna lose their saves, and they're gonna be mad and uh, raise a riot on the CA headquarters. Who cares about the old saves when uh, they're introducing new factions that didn't know, won't ever exist in these news in the old saves? It's a stupid uh, policy. The heralds and power tomb kings technology cannot be unlocked by completing only the final dynasty instead of all dynasties. Wow. You don't need all dynasties anymore. Only only CA gives a shit and probably a small amount of people about the old saves. When single entity units are fighting in battle, they will no longer disengage so often when uh, which replenish their charge bonus incorrectly. Hmm. Okay, I, I I noticed this with some with the giants. It's a really bad excuse, yeah. Fix a bug where the awakened button in Mortal Cult uh, on a new dynasty didn't activate until the next turn. It can now be activated when the resources are gathered. Added heroes to the Tomb King's garrisons. Hell yeah! Finally those skeleton warriors on tier 5 uh, uh, city will be a hero. How did they forget this in the first place? Tomb King's Legion of Legend our units are now correctly affected by Lord's Red Skill tree buffs. Okay, nice. So uh, uh, we get buffs on the legions of legends from battle skills. More perversions. Want my want my snakes to be good. <clears throat> Fix some flicking on the campaign map terrain on certain graphic settings on GTX 980 graphic cards. Yeah. Necro Sphinx and Hero Titan mask will no longer flip around a bell. Fix the weird bug where clear the stuff would appear on random impacts during battles. I mean, how does that even happen? Buffing. I have no idea, man. No idea. 
Uh, the victory message the enemy campaigns is now displayed correctly. What about the rogue armies fix? The rogue armies have been glitched since uh, it been released. It, they were never operating on legendary for uh, some lo long time. And now that the rogue armies are bringing on legendary, they are, they are glitched half the campaigns. Half the campaigns are glitched. They are not spawning correctly and they are not even uh, 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 behaving like a faction correctly. They just AFK for a million turns. Rogue armies carrying a book of national law stop following their patrol path and attack anyone who declares war on them. Fix the Bretonia garrison building, so, so basically that ship that uh, circles the Ultuan. Uh, if you declare war on them, they will just keep on their path instead of, you know, attacking you. No, very annoying. Uh, fix the Bretonia garrison building getting worse cavalry per upgrade. What the hell? How is that even possible? Thank God I'm not playing Bretonia in ME yet. Fix some vampire regions not having any vampiric corruption in the Mortal Emperor's campaign. This is most likely uh, Dale's backbone, because Lachnia is not cor uh, has a vampire corruption. I'm feeling this is uh, this is Lachnia. Talking monsters can now be scaled up in the laboratory mode. Okay. They fix some things here, no big, big deals. Battle map updates. Added the following custom battle maps to quick battle mode. Wow, not a single one of them uh, to, uh, I guess this uh, might be from the campaign. Okay, who cares about that? It's not in the campaign. Balancing changes. Wow, they nerfed greatswords twice against infantry, and now they buff greatswords against infantry. They had a lot of multiplayer. Man, keep getting, what the hell? Make up your mind, game. How many times were greatswords nerfed against infantry, now they buff them against infantry. So, uh, Greatswords got one bonus with infantry. <coughs> I think uh, <coughs> I think they are back to 8 or 9. Albadir's got one melee attack, which is nice. Uh, they buffed the Flagellants uh, 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 and Tether Souls arm piercing damage, finally. Their arm piercing damage was uh, sucked. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Pistoliers plus one armor piercing missile damage. Yeah! Oh my god. How long have we waited for this? How long many campaigns we you not in Oh man We finally heard the cries So now they doubled their armor piercing damage from mighty one armor piercing damage to two armor missile damage armor piercing missile damage It's gonna make all the difference after buffing the range and health last patch. Spice confirmed, boys. Spice confirmed. They still have a lot of, uh, a low amount of munition. Looks like a, a nerf to the Wave Watchers. Nerf to the Wave Watchers. Plus one second reload time, reduced projectile mass. Cavalry has an easier time catching the unit. Yeah, it's a big nerf to the Wave Watchers. Reduced accuracy. Main noticeable at max energy gets small targets. Focus position reduces 50% RP missile damage. Wow, that's a big nerf to Wave Watchers. Name no Watchers got nerfed. Big time. Foot Squires got buffed. One bonus versus infantry. Battle Pigments got buffed again. This, both Foot Squires and Battle Pigments were nerfed when they were released, and now they are buffing them again. Graveyard, uh, great weapons got more bonus versus infantry. Hell yeah, that's what I wanna see. That's what I wanna see. So uh, they're gonna have now plus 10 bonus versus infantry, the graveyard great weapons, which should make them uh, uh, even more viable than the red graveyard, especially against uh, uh, stuff like chaos. A difference between 1 AP and 2 AP is huge. Huge. They basically doubled their damage against armored units. More than doubled. <clears throat> orc Arab Boys, Savage Orc Arab Boys, one missile damage, one arm piercing down. Man, this is not a big deal, man. They already have a decent AP damage for a, for a, a low tier archer. Nothing special. Basically, got hurt, uh, lost one melee attack. Knights of the Realm got buffed, plus two melee defense. They buffed melee defense on all the knights, it seems. 
Pegasus Knights, roll Pegasus Knights. Man at uh, Arms buffed uh, against Large. They're buffing uh, Bretonia a lot, uh, these patches, well, again. Uh, Queek uh, has another plus 4 versus Infantry. He's already a god against Infantry. Another nerf on the Centigors. Oh, man. This the multiplayer has killed this unit, man. Why would you even use this unit anymore? The multiplayer has absolutely killed this unit. Who cares about Centigors, man? There are better things to use in, in... Now, you know, we're never even gonna use them in campaign. Multiplayer has destroyed Centigors. Destroyed. Help it abomination. Minus three uh, 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 bonus versus large, and plus four melee attack. So they want to make it better against infantry. Plague furnace has been nerfed to melee defense, so it's easier to uh, to hit. Uh, Plague Priest, Plague Furnace is uh, uh, broken as it is, so who cares about some melee defense? Uh, <coughs> Feral Cold Ones with charge bonus, Feral Bastillon with a charge bonus and 4 melee, melee defense. This is nice for the Feral Bastillon. The Bastillon's uh, the is a little disappointment. I'm not sure uh, about the multiple application, but in the campaign they are not special. Questing Knights got more AP damage, holy shit. They're really uh, trying hard with the Questing Knights, making them uh, uh, armor piercing cavalry. All the Questing Knights and the Grill Guardians can use the Lance Formation ability. Millions Kings, minus 2 melee defense. All Chaos Warriors plus 3 morale. What is this? Round 2. Chaos Warriors uh, plus 2 charge bonus. Orc begins plus one charge bonus. Cairn Raids plus two charge bonus. They keep buffing uh, the uh, this, the Wraith units with charge. The Wraith units had the absolute worst charge in the game of all units. Uh, but you know, since then they pretty much doubled the, the charge bonus on the Wraith units. Kazar got some melee defense. Silverham with the shields got more charge bonus. Horn ones got more charge bonus. Cold one Dread Knights got more melee defense. Setra's Chariot is now cheaper in multiplayer. Mm. Everybody's using the War Swings, huh? Ushapti uh, and the uh, Chosen of the Gods Ushapti lost one ammo. Oh man, that's a big nerf. Cambrian War Swings and mounted versions minus 8 charge bones and minus 200 health. Psh, that's like not, not even a nerf, man. Who cares about this? Uh, Rune of Red and Rune increase target range to 150 max 40. This is actually really good. Oh man, I love this. This is good. This is good. A Rune of Red and Rune is a, a, a Rune Smith ability and the uh, uh, Rune Lord ability. It's uh, that deals damage. On a, on, uh, it's a, like an ability that this that deals just direct damage. They increase the range and uh, it has now four uses. This is enough for one battle. And Master Rune of Wrath of Ruin for the uh, 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 Rune Lord uh, has three uses. This is good. I like the range increase. It's going to even be good in the single player. Ability changes Dragon Breads. Plus 7% projectile damage and projectile AP damage. Latin Protocurus in of Star Dragon Bread. Lance Formation removed the negative stat modifiers. Hallelujah. Now we can use the Lance Formation more effectively. Lance Formation uh, 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 would give you uh, uh, less uh, uh, defense against projectiles. So your shield would be less effective. So uh, uh, it's uh, they removed the negative stuff. Wow. Look at this. Murderous prowess and the murderous mastery uh, vigor uh, buff was nerfed from 30% to 80%. You know, guys, honestly, uh, I don't give a shit about murderous prowess or the murderous mastery. My one Dark Elf campaign I played uh, with Morati, it pretty much didn't make any any difference in most of the battles. Takes too long to trigger. Stuff like martial prowess, the high elves have is way superior to this, as it's uh, uh, active from the start. Old Grumbles nerfed again. 
all Grumbles nerfed again, man. Just uh, delete that unit from the game, man. We're not gonna use the single player, just use the multiplayer. The old Grumbles is a regiment of renown uh, of uh, Longbeards. It was excellent to keep maintain the high vigor on the nearby units. And this is, I think, third nerf, or second or third nerf to this unit. Probably because multiplayer. I mean, probably. It's definitely because of multiplayer. The Grout and upgraded cost more. Um, I can see that the Grout is very strong. Fate of Bijuna got nerfed plus 2 mana cost. It, it actually, Fate of Bijuna is pretty good. When you upgrade it, it costs 15. Now it's gonna cost 17. Uh, not, a little, just slightly noticeable. If you have arcane items, it's fine. It's mainly nerfed for the green skins, for Azak. Other, other uh, factions don't care about Fate of Bijuna, higher cost. So this is a nerf for the green skins, for the Azak. It's like, you know, Azak is too powerful already. This is probably just going to be affected, most affected by the, on Azak. Azak in multiplayer. Fate of Bijuna is a direct damage uh, strong spell in the second uh, second tier uh, uh, death magic. Savage Dominion got uh, also for more mana cost. Mm, why did the hell? Why the hell did they? What the hell? I, 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 I'm not even going to comment on this one. Fire Convocation is cheaper. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. This is good. This is good. Let's make High Elf stronger than single player. And they nerfed Liberty Bonicus for uh, for the Lord's Krog. It's the less duration now. Liberty Bonicus was very strong. Okay, this is just small page, guys. Uh, probably just a bunch of changes for the multiplayer. Just a bunch of changes for the multiplayer. There are a few nice things here. Like, uh, uh, they finally added uh, the Tomb Prince in uh, Tomb King Garrisons instead of uh, having Skeleton Warriors on Tier 5. The Great Swords got buffed again. Halberdiers have more melee attack. Halberdiers is supposed to be a very effective anti-large unit. And getting even more melee attack is it's very good for the unit. Lance Formation... Uh, uh, hold on, what, what does it do? I'm not gonna give you the exactly one moment. Uh... So, uh, Lance now uh, gives charge speed, charge bonus, more acceleration, and uh, more uh, deceleration. I'm not sure what, the, what, the, what is this supposed to mean, the 3% deceleration. But it looks like it gives you... Uh, uh, it's basically a devastating charge. It's supposed to, when you go on Lance Formation, when you get momentum, it's supposed to devastate uh, uh, infantry unit. Devastate. I, I mean, uh, it's possible, I think it's still possible to have close to 200, 200 charge bonus on the Grill Knights. Maybe they nerfed them uh, over, over, the, over time, but I had Grill Knights with uh, 180 something charge, 180 charge. And uh, their charge absolutely deletes infantry uh, 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 with the lance. So if you want to de deliver a devastating uh, uh, charge on an infantry unit, it uh, uh, used to give them weakness against range. This is uh, situational though, this is not always good to use. Sometimes you want to go wide, you don't want to go at spear point. You want to go wide. When you do the lance uh, uh, charge, you can turn off lance immediately and then the unit organizes better and you're fighting the enemy. Gives flat with the charge, uh, uh, the battle skill for charge gives flat value. Are you sure? I think it's the same as before. We must preserve this world. I am the blood of you. Let's see. That's not multiplayer Vakmin Veil, that's a custom battle. I think Shulri Code is still 10%. It's the best skill they have with the Glorfinial Progeny for more damage in the cavalry. We're not starting a new campaign, guys, I'm just checking on one battle skill. 
a uh, new campaign will start next week. My lord, the Dukes of Britonia have By the light of the lady. Oh wow, you're right. When did they change this? It used to be 10%, now it's 10 charge. It's uh, it's better. This is better. 10 flat is better. 10 flat is better. Weapon strength plus 50% with uh, 4 attack and 10%, 10 charge makes the, the Bertrand cavalry deadly. Really deadly. 10 flat uh, charge is better. So you get 60 charge here instead of 5. You get uh, a plus uh, extra 5 charge bonus. Instead of, uh, it used to be plus 5 here, now it's plus 10. Uh, it used to be 3.6 here, now it's plus 10. Used to be a uh, uh, 6.8 here, 7. Now it's 10. It's, a, it's actually quite a bit, uh, quite a big buff. Quite a big buff. You I did not see that in the patch favor. notes, the the show record. But you know they uh, do with the percentages, the red numbers, what they want. This is a this is a good buff. This is a good buff. Holy shit, man, the uh, Bretonian definitely has deadly scalery. Just wanna see, since they changed uh, Bretonian battle skill, did they change anything on the goblins? The goblins has the most glitched battle skills. I am no comment, guys, no comment, please. Anarian. I don't wanna hear a single thing. It's still 20%, but it gives plus 20 flat. If they ever fix the Gobos, and uh, uh, better nice thing, if they ever fix this, this campaign is going to be impossible. Because it makes the, uh, the Night Goblin Sweet Hoppers insane. Also, the Goblin Wolf Chariots are very powerful as well. This is your best unit pretty much as, as, the, as the Crooked Moon. Okay. Anyways, guys, we check the patch notes. Uh, the next campaign uh, in Warhammer 2 is next week. It will not start on Monday, probably after Wednesday. And uh, uh, we start with a faction we have not played before in Mortal Empires. Of course, somebody might use a Man of the Month request, and this might get interrupted. But uh, that's it. That's it. We're we done with the patch notes here. Okay, I'm gonna go play some uh, Slid Spire. Uh, if I uh, uh, feel like it, maybe play some more Eternal uh, after. We'll play some random things until uh, the uh, next Warhammer 2 campaign, which is next week. Where are the patch notes? On Reddit. On Reddit. You can go watch this video from the start if you wanna uh, go check the patch notes. Uh, Seraphim probably, yes, probably, because uh, uh, Crooked Moon would then be unplayable if they actually uh, make it percentage. Because percentage on goblins is a huge difference, you know. It's a, it's a difference between a 2 charge and, uh, 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 and 40 charge. Like, what is 500%, you know, because 20 flat is 500% for some un common units. Hey guys, I'm uh, starting stream. I'll be playing some Slade Spire.